First up on the show, another potential war front is opening up for Israel in the West Bank. In fresh violence, Israeli forces in an early morning raid killed two Palestinians, taking the death toll of those killed in different incidents in the region to five. Eyewitnesses say Israeli forces opened fire at people in the city of Jenin before sunrise when people were having their first meal before they start fasting. In a separate incident, an armed civilian guard shot dead a 15-year-old a suspect linked to a stabbing attack at a military checkpoint. Officials say two Israeli personnel sustained mild to moderate wounds and were taken to a hospital. The checkpoint was located between Jerusalem and the West Bank city of Bethlehem. On Tuesday, three Palestinians were killed in two separate incidents since the Israel-Hamas war began. Israel has stepped up its raids in the West Bank. United Nations records show at least 358 people have been killed since October 7th, around 25% of those being children. Meanwhile, the Hezbollah says it has fired over 100 rockets targeting Israeli posts on Tuesday morning. The attack came as a response to the idea of strikes late on Monday night. However, Israeli authorities say it is doing everything to ensure religious freedoms for all Muslim worshippers in the holy month of Ramadan. We are at a very sensitive and challenging time. Too many extreme elements try to incite the atmosphere in the field as well as on social media and in other ways. We are currently preparing with all forces in all areas and as you could see, there are places of friction. In Gaza, Israel is continuing with its ground assault. According to Hamas, over 100 people have been killed in the last 24 hours with a severe shortage of food, water, medicine with famine and starvation looming in the region. A shipment of food from Morocco reached Gaza through the Kerem Shalom border crossing. A Spanish ship carrying 200 tons of desperately needed food supplies set sail from Cyprus on Tuesday as well. Now, unrest, meanwhile, continues on Israel's northern front as well. Israeli warplanes struck deep into Lebanon for the second day in a row on Tuesday, hitting a Hezbollah facility in the Beka Valley. Two Hezbollah members were killed. Since October, over 200 Hezbollah fighters and some 50 civilians in Lebanon have been killed. On the Israeli side, over 12 soldiers and six civilians have been killed. Thousands have fled the border regions on both sides. An Israeli drone also hit a car near a Palestinian refugee camp near Rashidir. Uh, meanwhile, some progress uh, is being reported on the hostage negotiations. Qatari and Egyptian mediators have said Hamas has reportedly softened its position. Notably, this comes amid reports uh, that say Qatar told its leaders residing in the country that they will not be allowed to remain if they didn't change their approach to the negotiations. Israel says 134 hostages are still being held in Gaza, while over 30 have been confirmed dead. And for the very latest on this, our correspondent Jody Cohen has sent us this report from Israel. The Palestinians have said that two people were killed in an Israeli raid in Jenin. While the Israel Defense Forces haven't commented on this specific incident, we know that over the past two years, the IDF have attempted to crack down on Hamas and Islamic Jihad in the West Bank after they said the Palestinian Authority was failing to stop the terror groups. And on Wednesday morning, two Israelis were wounded in a West Bank stabbing attack near Jerusalem. Meanwhile, the UN has used a new land route to deliver aid to Gaza. This was delivered by the UN's World Food Programme and not by the UN's Palestinian agency UNRWA after allegations that close to one quarter of UNRWA male staff are Hamas or Islamic Jihad operatives. Israel has said that the problem with aid has been with UNRWA's failure to distribute it and Hamas stealing 60% of it. Israel is seeking to work with private Palestinian organizations to secure the aid convoys. However, a Hamas-linked website has suggested that Hamas would deal with what they called collaborators with an iron fist. This is Jody Cohen for We On World As One. For all the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.